Ladies and gentlemen, one of my heroes, Alex Rivera of HowToSafeFuel.com. That maestro in the kitchen's a hero. <laughs> well, you know, and I'm going to say it one more time. I think this was one of the best products we saw all day that day. It's true. And I, we've I been waiting for this yeah. to come around for a long time. So, so what's going on? And how can we get this thing into the public domain? Well, we're doing it right now. Uh, we're doing a one-on-one uh, -on -one basis, one car at a time throughout California. I'm just about finished with my carb exemption order, which is the California Air Resources Board. We're doing the testing in a third-party facility that is a controlled atmosphere. So when you get that number, we can look for your product on the shelf, right? Yes, you can be able to find it on the shelf. I've been able to patent on the system. Oh. I've also been able to do an international patent. Okay, fantastic. Those are really important things. We've got the A rating on it. Um, at this point, we're just waiting for the testing to be done, and then I'll present this back to CARB, and then I'll move on to the EPA, and then I'll move on to the Air Quality Control District, and there's a few other projects that you know, are underway. Very good. So now, when you get that done, you, uh, you can't just go out and put this thing. Nobody can just go and get one of these and just put it in their car, right? It has to be. Uh, it should be done. This by is a work of art, you know. You have to know what you're doing. You have to be like an ASC certified mechanic. Very we, good. we have a school that we're going to be starting. There's a few mechanics that we want to start training, in particular, the ASC certified mechanics, so that we can introduce this to the public in a professional manner. How far are we from this realistically? For the uh, carb exemption order, maybe two to six months. And the, the training, the, the school that we want to start, um, actually, I can do some individual one-on-one -on -one at this time. Right. But to actually start a facility, we're probably looking six months to a year. Okay. And how long has the struggle already been going on to get this out there and get this on the market and have it something that's legal and easy? And I've been working on this for about two years now. Two years. Do you feel like you've been able to make strides? Do you feel like the, 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 the government, be it state or federal, has thrown obstacles in your course to try to make it more difficult for you? No. Nothing out of this. Not a out of abnormal. Okay, that's great. That's great. Again, and I and forgive me if this is the wrong but, time to interrupt with this, but but, but Rome, Rome wasn't built in a day. So exactly. Gotta, it took like a week and a half, right? Let's Rome. back up a little bit. So, but you, the thing I liked about you the most too, when I went to visit your website, is that unlike all the other people who want to claim this thing to be their own, there you have a list of thank you, starting with like Tesla, Nikolai Tesla, and people from the turn of the century. And you know we all have to remember that we sit on the on the mount you know on the, on the shoulder of a giant of knowledge, and that nothing has been right, you know right. can be really invented these days. You know, and it's interesting that you say that, Lance, because I was a huge fan um, of of uh, uh, Robert Lazar, the physicist Robert Lazar's uh, work. Who I don't know if you know this. Uh, did a, a nice long stint at Area 51, uh, reverse engineering uh, total annihilation nuclear propulsion uh, craft. Wow. Um, uh, but then later on, uh, designed a hydrogen system that he put in his cars, but he was storing it. And of course, if you're storing hydrogen, you have the risk of an explosion. So he stored it in halides, which you could shoot with a gun, and at best it would well, smolder. But he was, he was getting the hydrogen, producing it with a system from solar, blah, 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 but storing hydrogen. What I love about this, this is more Tesla. This is going more the, 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 in the thinking the every of Tesla. Man type of thing. Using electricity with the water to create the hydrogen mm -hmm. on demand. We use, it, we use it immediately. What we're producing is being used immediately. And this is super important. Let's make sure that we make that point. You're not storing any hydrogen. You're creating it on demand and using it immediately. Can you take us through? Can you take us through the, the various? This is the tower. It consists of two electrodes. These are the wires, which are what I'm using for electrodes. Okay. We use a positive and negative charge off of a 12 volt battery, and this takes the H2O molecule, splits it into two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen gas. So gas. It's a gas. It's not water vapor. It's a gas. So when this is put together, and we're using distilled water, and our catalyst is sodium bicarbonate, which is pure baking soda. Right. We use stuff that is recyclable, that won't harm, harm the planet. Uh, part of my thinking is to follow the rules of nature and to make sure that the things that we're using has to do with contributing to the planet. If, if there's any kind of thing that's going to harm it, like uh, there's, I mean, you could use acid. There's uh, different, like uh, potassium hydroxide. There's different types of chemicals besides 
baking soda that you could use for catalyst. But baking soda is such a readily available. But it's harmless. Well, the idea, that's the thing. To live and to work without harm. Absolutely. Okay? So if you have a company, I mean, there's lots of other union carbide companies who are looking at using heavy chemicals, stuff right. that's going to you know hurt your kids, whatever. This is just plain water and baking soda. Right. There's really nothing this, to be afraid of. When, when, you, when you go to clean out the bottle, it is the opening it up, pouring it down the sink. It doesn't hurt anything. It's water. It's water. Baking soda. It goes back to the air. Baking soda. Nothing to it. Yep. I love that. I, I, I love that. I love and that part. The other thing I really like, and I know this is kind of, this, this is something you find in mom's kitchen, right? A ball <laughs> jar. And for a lot of people that I've shown this to, they look at it and go, mmm, can't be that. But there's a good reason for that. I mean, oh, this yeah. is made it's, in the United States. It's, 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 it's Pyrex. It's Pyrex, it's heat temper, heat temperature, so that it'll withstand the heat that's... Let me do that part. No, I wanted to show oh, this okay. part, because um, this is the idea. Is you need to have this thing be able to swivel without this whole thing having to swivel. That would oh, be sure. just impossible to change without that. Right. So there's, there's a lot of things. This is funny, off-the-shelf technology, ancient, really. I think the ball company's about 100 years old, probably. Well, and I hear you mention, you're starting to talk about safety features. Go ahead and say that, because that's one of the things I know that uh, uh, one of the reservations that people immediately have is when they hear hydrogen, they fear fire, they fear explosions. Explosion. So please talk a little bit more about the safety. This is why we want certified or authorized installers to do this because hydrogen is highly flammable and it is dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Right. You start playing with this and there's a lot of safety issues involved. Uh, I'm an OSHA certified company person. I've gone to classes to learn from OSHA. Um, and I've introduced uh, different parts of the product so that there's safety release valves. If you were, if you were to get in an accident, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to have a pile of water on the floor, water and baking soda, right? <laughs> and a little bit of broken glass. <laughs>